Oh. Mm, I think I just ran a red light. <laughs> um, I was going down a road. I don't know if I'll get a ticket for it because it was kind of. I, I probably will get a ticket for it. Cause I'm being a dumb, dumb get a ticket for it. Basically, you know how like you have that yellow light that you think you can beat. <laughs> nope. Uh, so that's that's what happened to me. I thought I could beat this yellow light, and then as soon as I hit the end, it turned red. But I couldn't I couldn't break anymore, so I just went through it. So that's amazing. So I might. I mean, like, I've done it before where, like, I'm at, I mean, I'm already across and it's yellow, and then it turns red, so I'm fine with that. But if it's, like, I'm still on the other side of the road and then it turns red, like, I didn't, I didn't go right in the middle of an intersection as, as cars were passing by. No, no, no. See, the, the thing was, it was green, right? And, and then it turned yellow, and I hadn't noticed. By the time I had noticed... I was like, yeah, I could still probably make it. I'm pretty close. It's probably too late to slow down. I guess it was. I guess there was time to slow down because those things are on a sensor, aren't they? Because then, if I was going too fast, it would have. I don't know. Instead of slowing down, I sped up, and then, then it turned red as soon as I. Anyway, uh, so that's that's my morning. Gosh, my hair. I don't like it sometimes because it makes this because my hair's poofy and it's wavy and so it looks weird in some in some angles I guess so I'm not a big fan of that that's why I put a hat on but yeah I got my hair cut I don't, hmm. maybe I can put a hat on it it'll fix it maybe. that's why I always wear hats I don't know if I've ever said that it's hard to put a hat on with one hand. And no, I wasn't... Fine. I wasn't gonna wear, like, you know how people wear beanies nowadays, which is, um, useless. They wear their beanies on top of their ears, and it pisses me off because it's supposed to cover your head. Not... If you wanted, if you wanted the tiny, I've always said, if you wanted one that just went on top of your head, like literally just on top of your head, you should get like a yarmulke, you know, the Jewish hats things, for those that are unaware, for those uninitiated, um, but yeah, beanies, toques, it's supposed to go right over your ears, man, that's what they're for, it's supposed to warm your head. It's spring now, I guess, because the sun's out. Um, today is our very first dress rehearsal, so I'm super excited about that. Oh, today's Monday! I just noticed. Because I always just make these videos on Wednesday. But it's Monday. And I have an exam on Wednesday. And I have uh, a part of my research draft due on Wednesday as well. So that's amazing. Um, good God. What was I going to say? Oh! I just I think about that ticket. I mean, you can go to traffic school, and I'm a relatively fresh enough driver that I can do that stuff no problem. I've done it before, actually. Not not for me, but for like other people, honestly. Like you know, just help them out with the traffic school stuff. Um, so I can I think I'm I'm pretty confident that I can do that pretty easily. But the thing is, I don't want to. It takes long. And also it costs, you know, I'd rather not pay anything at all. Anyway. Mm. Oh, I, I, f I was finally able to uh, uh, go out with some of my castmates. So that was really fun. It was like a dozen of us, a dozen or so. A baker's dozen, actually. No, baker's dozen is 13. I'm thinking of 11 people. I just wanted to say 11, really fancy, but I messed up. Uh, so it was 11 of us. We all went to Denny's. Super fun. Um... Yeah, I didn't even, you know, like, you ever have those moments where, like, you don't notice the time pass? The last time this ever happened to me was, like, um, grad night, I would say, where it was three days. I did notice it was three days, and it was a lot of walking, so I would notice the time pass by. But when times, when, when, when times came by that we were having fun, you know, we were having fun, and time didn't matter. And this was, this was the closest moment I've had to that. I mean, like, it's not to say that I haven't had fun rehearsing the play it's just you know like actually 
me actually being able to talk to the cast outside of that environment is really fun to me, you know, because uh, we don't necessarily talk about the play all the time while we're in the theater, you know, we're, we're people, we talk about stuff too, but, you know, just seeing these people outside of, outside of the environment that I usually see them in uh, was really cool, you know, it was, it was my first outing with my castmates, so that was really fun. Um... We got into a big heated discussion as to why the prequel trilogy sucked, and we have a big, uh, we have a big Star Wars nerd in the cast, and she was like, "I like Episode Three," and I just said, "No, no, no," but watch this video. I'm talking about the Plinket reviews. I said, "Watch this video, though. It it points out everything that's fucking wrong with these with these movies," and <laughs> and I uh, and I don't know if they actually watched it, but because it's like an hour and a half long, so. Yeah, and there's like this weird shit that's spliced in. That's why I, that's what I hate about the Plinket reviews is that it's a good review, but there's all this creepy shit smudged in because for those unaware, uh, the Plinket reviews are a set of reviews uh, done by Red Letter Media using the character named Mr. Plinket, and Mr. Plinket uh, canonically is this weird kidnapper slash murderer character who just so happens to like watch movies so that's his that's his shtick is um my thumb keeps getting in the lens i'm sorry uh his shtick is just kidnapping people so then you'll have the review for like half an hour and then it'll it'll jump to like footage of him like all, all the ladies he's kidnapped and all the people he's killed, you know, that type of shit, uh, I, I think it really got worse, I think, in, when he did his episode 2 review, in episode 3, it kind of was a bit subdued, because it just so happened to align that there wasn't much to go on there, you know, I guess that's part of the character, you know, because he kind of talks in this weird, kind of drawl, kind of monotone, it's just to add ambiance you know, but I didn't think it was really necessary. So some people have actually made videos where they cut out those parts, and it's just a pure review, you know. But it makes sense to hear that review without all that creepy stuff in, because I have context. But for people that don't have the context, I guess it would just sound like he's bored, you know, that he's not a character. So I guess that's why they had those in there. But even still, it's like, I don't like it, because I know the context. But for the people, whatever. Um, so I will. So that was fun. Um, not much has gone on actually. Gosh. There's some stuff I guess. Like, uh, again, not not really not really feeling up to talking about stuff. I played Power Drill Massacre, I guess that's something I can talk about, it's not too personal. I played Power Drill Massacre, I beat it, uh, it was fun, I was surprised my laptop could run because it's not a gaming laptop at all, it's just nothing, so, so I beat that, it's the demo, the game's not out yet, but the demo's coming, a new version of the demo is supposed to be coming out soon, so I wanna see, I wanna check that out too, um, but, Oh, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Just, just stuff, I guess. You know, you kind of realize going into college, you kind of realize how many people you talk to. <laughs> uh, like last uh, in high school, I would people would always say, or at least one or two of my friends would always say, like how much uh, I know a lot of people, or, or uh, so like that's been mentioned to me once or twice, and I've actually noticed it once or twice. The fact that, is that? No, that's not. I was gonna say, I thought that's my high school teacher. That's weird. Um, but, what was I gonna say? Oh, some people have pointed out that I know a lot of people, you know, and that hap that's happened to me once or twice, and I never actually noticed until I paid attention as to, um, you know, I walk into a classroom, and by senior year, I had known like 80 or 90% of the people that were there, and I was. You know, I'm not going to say I was close friends with them, but I, I knew them by name. I had memories with them, and, you know, that's in, in, each, in, in the, each and every single one of my classes. And I do understand that the classes are set up so that they try to keep you within the same group as much as possible. Like, I don't know how true that is, but I did notice a, a trend where 
Uh, I had a friend. His name's Alex. And I had known him since, I would say, 7th or 8th grade. In 8th, or sorry, in ninth grade, I had, I had, like, pretty much all my classes with this guy. Until I switched out my French class. So it's kind of screwed up that scheduling. And then in 10th grade, we had all of our classes together except for the one. And then again in junior year, and then again in senior year. But in senior year, I had taken a completely different set of classes. So I didn't have him in as many classes as I normally do, you know. But more often than not, it's the same people within my classes, just so that it's not a stranger every time. I don't know if that's on purpose, or if it's just a result of the system kind of just, you know, grab-bagging us in, like, in this random order, and it just so happens to be that we're in, the, we're in a very similar clump all the time. I don't know how, how true that is. But, um, yeah, so high school... I, even outside of class, I would just walk around and, and like, I, I would recognize people. I, like, people that I knew a long time ago, you know. So, not necessarily talk to, you know, have a full conversation with, but, you know, like, I, I know these people. And you do, you do get to know a lot of people in secondary school. I guess that's what that's called, high school. Yeah. So, you go into college, and then suddenly there's, like, a million strangers around you. You know, it didn't, it didn't hit me that hard during my first semester because during my first semester, uh, not only did I have classes with my friends, um, like, not only did I have a bunch of classes with all my friends, uh, but I, you know, I, I had, like, five or seven people that I would be able to hang out with outside of class all the time, you know, and, and it would just be a big table of us all the time, you know? I'm sure there's many more people that go here that I never see, and so I can't really talk to, but I know they're here. But, uh, this semester, gosh, I have one class that I know one person in, you know, I have one friend from that class from high school, and all my other classes, no, complete strangers. My, my research in psychology class, my, my Psych 175 class, and up until recently, my, 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 uh, theater class. I, my, my, my stage play. Not recently, I guess. I mean, like, I have... I was in a complete loner. I, I'm pretty sure, like, day one or day two, people had been, like, you know, making friends that way, you know? But I haven't had, like, for real these conversations with everyone until, like, I would say it a week or two weeks or so. I don't know. And that sounds weird to me because I want... Because I don't even remember how I got to talk to these people, you know? It's always it's always those weird friendships where you kind of you, you can kind of pinpoint exactly when it happened, but you don't know exactly why it happened. You know, like it was just circumstantial that you guys were able to talk to each other and you hit it off, and then now you're and now you're buds all the time. But yeah, it, it really hit me this year because uh, I only have classes Mondays and Wednesdays. I have no, I have I don't know anyone in all my classes, except for the one guy in my first class, which is in about an hour. Um, and then, and then after class, you know, it's Chazza and Jadrian, pretty much. Uh, Mondays, it's Chazza and Jadrian, sometimes uh, a couple of other people, and on Wednesdays, it's, it's just them again, you know, and sometimes they come over to my house, but, you know, everyone else, I don't, I don't ever see anyone anymore. Uh, so that's really unfortunate, but at the same time, it's like, I understand people have their own stuff going on, and I have my own stuff going on, so, you know, I don't, I don't get to talk to as many people, I don't get to see as many people as I usually do, so, it's a really unfortunate, but, I don't know, I guess, it feels a little bit lonely this semester, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to reconnect with some people, I guess. Slowly but surely. Uh, what else is there to say? I don't know. I guess I was just trying to keep my mind off that ticket. Didn't work. <laughs> uh, also, I have class in like an hour. I get here super early because I like parking in the front. Because otherwise, uh, I don't know. You can't really see my, my area around me. But yeah, right there. Right. Right. Otherwise, I would have to park... Oh, you can't even see it. But, hold on, I'm gonna point my finger. Where is it? Over there? Uh, 
is like a staircase. Hold on, actually, it's more like right here. There's a building, right? You see this building that I'm hovering over? Oh my gosh. This building. There's like a staircase right over there, and it leads down to a track. And then past that track is another set of parking spaces. And that sounds really easy to get to because it's just right over there, right? No. I would have to exit out that way and go around and travel 25 miles per hour down a dirt road to uh, to a lake where there are seagulls all the time. And then I would have to go all the way over there and then find parking space there, you know, and that's so far away, you know, and it's hot. There's no shade whatsoever. I mean, there's not shade here anyway, either. You can see it's just blue skies, but still it's like there's trees. There's at least some trees. I'm sitting there next to a tree right now. Uh, anyway. Yeah, no, I don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing with these videos <laughs> anymore. I'm sorry. I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll make another one on Wednesday if I feel like it. I, these just these just lost all sorts of schedule. They, they just come and go whenever they want. But at least I'm consistent with making these videos. Actually, sorry, it, not consistent. At least I'm uh, what do you call that? Not consistent updating, but at least I'm updating. You know, which is more than I can say for some people because sometimes you have those people that are kind of like, yeah, yeah, I'll make a video next week, you guys, and then you never hear from them ever again, which is so unfortunate, especially if it's someone that, you know, you were watching. Uh, there was this YouTube channel, and I'm gonna call it out because, you know, I missed that channel. Uh, it was called So Simply Good, and it was run by this girl, I think her name was Emma, and she was really cool, and, I, and she was really pretty, and she sang really good, and I thought that she would... That's not to me, is it? No. Uh, I heard someone honk. Uh, yeah, she was she was really good at she was really good at singing, and you know, she she made she made a lot of cool videos. Not not a lot, but like a handful. And then she kind of just went away. Like she didn't really seem like the type that would commit to the YouTube thing, which is unfortunate because I feel like she should be the type to commit to these YouTube things because you know she's she's got a knack for it. Um, but I understand she's probably busy. She's like the same age as me, I think. Uh, from what I recall, she made a video that kind of she said her age or gave an implication to what grade level she's at. So she's probably also in like college or at least senior year of high school. So I understand the stresses. In any case, uh, I'm gonna go because this video is running 20 minutes and they're pretty much only up an hour. Why do they even talk in the car? Uh, I hope everyone has a fantastic week. It's Monday. We'll get through this together. Pray for me in that ticket. <laughs> pray, pray, I don't get that ticket. Alright, peace out.